Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch The Incredibles to see how accurate all the science and technology in this movie really are. Hold still. Match, Mr. Incredible. Oh. Secure. Commence message. This movie came out in 2004. I was, I was in the fourth grade. I still remember the McDonald's toys, which is besides the point, but really, really cool. Facial recognition technology was not a thing back then. Goodness, iPhones weren't even invent invented back then. iPhones came out in 2007? That sounds about right. <laughs> like, so iPhones, I think the iPhone 1 came out in 2007, and then 10 years later in 2017, all iPhones now have facial recognition technology, at least the ones that they're building from that point onwards. And I I'm just kind of saying, this is really cool they predicted it, because that tablet, because I think iPads have it now too, that looks like an iPad. Like, it just has that one button at the very bottom, it's kind of big, and then everything else is just exactly the shape, way and shape that Steve Jobs intended it to be. The markers are distance between your eyes, distance from your forehead to your chin, amongst other things. But essentially what's happening is they're all coming together to form a geometric pattern of your face. And that's going to give you a facial signature. That then goes into the computer as a numeric model. And then that numeric model is what unlocks the uh, phone, iPad, or whatever device has the face ID. That's possible to do right now with just really, really basic technology. Like, if you know, because I mean, Mr. Incredible is jumping in a perfect parabolic motion over this spherical Omnidroid. So if you know the direction an object is traveling and how fast it's going and in what shape it's moving, yeah, you can certainly predict where it's going to end up. I want to know how this monster is powered, because this thing is moving in all sorts of directions, it's knocking down trees, it's got a good amount of computing power in it, and it's huge! Like, it's pretty heavy. Mr. Incredible's gotta work to lift that thing up, and that's his superpowers being really, really strong. I just... Like, that, that's gotta have one hell of a battery inside of it. This thing is awesome! I mean, like, not to take away from the fact that I was trying to kill, like, the main character, but dude, like, this Omnidroid is, is, is one, like, crazy awesome robot. Certain metals like tungsten, platinum, nickel, cobalt, titanium, all of these have a high resistance to heat because like, they have a very high melting temperature. And they're not going to just instantly melt when they're, you know, in an exposure to lava, which is probably some alloy of what I just listed as what this robot's exterior is made out of. And, like, when I tell you, it's... This is really, really impressive because, I mean, this thing had to, like, swim its way out of the lava. I don't know how he did that, but... That is pretty insane, and yeah, like, it wasn't in there for very long, so it's certainly possible to show that this thing will most definitely survive that and not have any structural damage. I unleash it, I'll get- <laughs> You sly dog! You got me monologuing! I can't believe it! <laughs> it's cool, huh? Zero point energy. Yeah, I, I save the best inventions for myself. Zero point energy is a real thing in physics, it's the uh, lowest energy level that a quantum mechanical state can hold. Even theoretical physicists don't fully understand it, like Richard Feynman tried to find zero point energy in a vacuum and that led to something about like dark matter and ether and all sorts of crazy like theoretical quantum physics that even Richard Feynman couldn't fully understand, so I don't know if a lot of people do. And I can tell you that even the mathematical models that have been developed for this sort of thing are so complex. Like, no one actually knows what it is. Like, we know how to define it, but like, we really don't know what it is. At absolute zero, all atoms stop moving, and that's not really what's happening here, because that would just be a death ray at that point, because at absolute zero is 
negative 273.15 degrees Celsius or negative like 460 degrees Fahrenheit and yeah that would just kill him right on the spot that's far too cold for anyone to survive. Very cool sci-fi weapon. I don't know when we're going to invent it. Skin. It also withstand the temperature of over 1,000 degrees. Completely bulletproof. And machine washable, darling. That's a new feature. What on earth do you think the baby will be doing? Edna Mode is one of the coolest characters Pixar has ever come out with. Like, she's... How does... Anyone just not fall in complete love with her like she is just so weird and so fun Thousand degrees Fahrenheit Machine washable uh, bulletproof. Yeah, there's quite a few medals that actually fit the description and if if Trying to like think like Edna mode here. She probably just weaved all that metal in between the fabric So that the kid would actually have all these resistances. I don't know why a little child would need it, but he's got them your boy's suit are designed to withstand enormous friction without heating up or wearing out a useful feature. Polycarbonate is the best material for withstanding friction and it has very high heat resistance and it's quite stable. I would be led to believe that, wow, I would be led to, I've never used those words in my entire life in that order, but I hypothesize, that sounds fancy, that his suit is made out of polycarbonate in some way, form of another. I've never seen it like woven into a fabric like that before, so it, it wouldn't lose its chemical properties, but I don't think it would be as like, it wouldn't have the structural integrity as if it was just like a solid plastic. Your sword can stretch as far as you can without injuring yourself and still retain its shape. Virtually indestructible. Breathes like Egyptian cotton. The most elastic material in the entire world is silicone rubber, and it can stretch 900% yield and return back to its original shape. And that, so th that stretching is called elastic deformation, where you stretch a material and it actually like comes back to you know the point of before you start stretching, it comes back to its original form. Whereas plastic deformation is you stretch a material and it actually doesn't come back it stays exactly where it is as you stretched it or it just breaks entirely. I've been trying to figure those out for a long, long time. Even when I first saw this movie, I was like, what? are those things and where can I buy them? <laughs> I don't know what's causing those black spheres to just keep expanding like that. Like it looks like there's some sort of fluid that's just moving. I don't even know if that's air that's filling inside of that, right? Because there's no opening for air to actually travel into any of those like spheres. And I guess it wouldn't even make sense anyway because air will naturally move from high pressure to low pressure, whereas this thing is a high pressure inside of it, so like you have to to move air from low pressure to high pressure, you need like a pump, which just that's not just gonna happen like as these things are right now, just out in like open space. And I don't know like what else these things could possibly be because it's expanding like just by itself, right? And like I wonder, I don't even know how big they actually get. Like, does it actually fill the entire room? Or and I guess another question is. Where is he storing these? Like, I'm curious because like they just keep expanding. So it's like wherever they're stored, he has to have a bunch of them that are really small. So I'm wondering, how does that work? Black spheres are really bad news for the Incredibles. And like besides the example that we just saw with those things, the Omnidroid, which is a giant black sphere with a bunch of arms, specifically four. And the other time that we see black spheres is when Mr. Incredible is like trapped in that um, like electric, which is not possible by the way, but guess what's holding his like hands and legs in there? Black spheres. So like whatever those things show up in this movie, it is really bad news. His daughter Violet will produce purple spheres as force fields. And I guess we, I could get into like the, this whole like a um, motif of like spheres in the Incredibles, but that's for a different video. Supers? 
Dash, remember what Mom said. Hey, stop talking. Hold it, freeze! Dash, run! What? Those might be able to... No, I was trying to think of how... I have no clue how those things are flying. Like, I don't see room for an engine anywhere on those things, and I don't know how they're powered. Anyone who's been by a helicopter or even like a mini drone will tell you how insanely loud they are and just how, like, they just get in the way of everything around them. So when you have multiple of them all, like, right next to each other, you're gonna feel, like, incredible gusts of wind in, like, every direction. It's like, like, Violet's hair would just be, like, flying everywhere. Plants would be flailing back and forth. Like, the grass would just be, like, pretty much, like, in a disarray, right? There would be a lot of wind just everywhere, and there's none of that here, which does not make any sense. Guess what? The Gold Life is now an affiliate partner of NordVPN. Information is a huge commodity nowadays. Companies want to know where you live, where your car is parked, what you eat, where you work, where you work out, the passwords you have, the websites you're on. Your personal information is being bought and sold by these giant tech companies without your permission. Protect yourself at all times on up to six devices using NordVPN. I have it on my laptop and my phone. That way whenever I go connect to a public Wi-Fi anywhere, I don't have to worry about a thing. Another cool deal is that you get to connect to other countries and get access to their Netflix movies and TV shows, giving you a whole new array of entertainment so you can binge even harder. Use my link in the description down below to get 68% off a two-year plan of NordVPN with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any other movie, TV show, or anime you guys want me to watch, put it in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.